Today we'll make a dish called gung pa sauce makam. I'm going to use river prawns, but you can also choose giant fresh water prawns, white prawns, or even lobster. In addition to the prawns, we use tamarind juice. You can use the instant version and mix with water. It works just as well. Other ingredients include chopped onions, vegetable oil, and palm sugar for an aromatic, sweet taste. We also need water, fried large dried chilies for aroma, but not too spicy a flavor, and a bit of salt to season. Then we have cashew nuts and shallots. Now that we know all the ingredients, let's start cooking. Start with the sauce. We pour about two tablespoons of vegetable oil into a frying pan. Wait until it's quite hot. If the oil is not hot enough, you won't get the nice aroma when cooking. First fry some chopped onion. In another pan, I'll heat up some oil to about 180 degrees Celsius. This will be for deep frying the prawns. Meanwhile, keep on frying the onions until they become golden brown. As we wait for that, I'm going to sprinkle two pinches of salt onto the prawns. This is very quick marinating in readiness for deep frying. Now, you can see that the onions are turning golden brown. And now, it's time we added our next ingredient, palm sugar. The key to this dish is the mix of sweet, sour and salty tastes. Let this simmer. As you see, I'm trying to make a light caramel. Once we've got the light caramel, we'll add tamarind juice and salt too. After everything is dissolved, taste the mixture to make sure there is acidity, sweetness and a little saltiness. Keep working it for another minute. If it looks too sticky, we can add some water, just a little. We don't need to add a lot of water. As we are waiting for the sauce to finish, let's start deep frying our prawns. This is a very quick step, so we need to be careful. For marinated prawns, we want a high heat in order to get that beautiful color. Our sauce here is almost ready too. They are now done. And we can place the prawns into our sauce and mix. We may need to shake the pan a bit to get everything well mixed. Then add fried dried chilies and cashew nuts, which have been deep fried too. Shake the pan again, one, two, three, so all the ingredients mix together and are well coated with the sauce. We can now put everything onto a serving plate. Garnish with fried shallot as much as you like. And we're done. And this is Gung Pat Makam, or prawns with tamarind sauce and cashew nuts. Another dish that is easy to make and looks so good, doesn't it? I hope you will really enjoy this dish.
Today, we will make Pla Sam Rot, a dish with three main flavors of sour, sweet and salty. 